It has been a while since I've made a PC video, and as you can see, things have changed. My apartment is different, what I do is different, I'm no longer a student, uh, and my PC is different. So here is basically my new PC setup. Uh, it's now a 6700K overclocked at 4.6 gigahertz. I got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Still rocking the dual 670, uh, four gigabit cards. And the big thing about that is that it's all now water-cooled, at least the CPU is water-cooled with this 240 millimeter rad atop the PC. It's all packed inside this Corsair Air 540 um, case, and it's big. It's a massive case, and I love it, and yeah. So anyway, it's water-cooled. I didn't make a PC video on this because I knew I was probably gonna mess something up, and I didn't want it to be like a tutorial video, but I figured now rectifying my mess up could be an entertaining video. Because I've never water cooled a PC before. It's, I didn't really look a lot either. I just kind of wanted to wing it. That's kind of what I do. And so let me show you my problem here. So the problem is this tubing, which originally was fine for the first like month, has since become kinked pretty badly. And water flow is not the most pleasant thing through this. It's still keeping my PC cool, but this bothers me a lot. So we are going to try and fix this. I'm hoping. If I just kind of cut it, I can kind of rectify the situation a little bit. So I'm going to probably drain it first and then uh, kind of see how that goes. So as per usual, I don't really know what I'm doing and I think this will work, but I wouldn't do this probably. There's probably easier ways to handle this situation. What's the worst that could happen here? So I'm just going to kind of cut. I have my drainage. Ah, oh, my wires aren't long enough. So let's just... Uh, Cut it. Okay. So that's all gonna drain out of my rad, and here we go. So that's good. So we're gonna loosen this guy here. Okay. Progress. So game plan here. We're gonna retighten this guy on here. Just nice and tight. So let's just cut that kink out. So this guy kink is basically cut out. I'm going to try and sync it up to Mr. Pump there. Okay, there we go. And again, I'm going to be coming at kind of this angle, so I want it to be nice and flush here. Do so I don't have to free for the water. And in order to do that, I basically have to run the pump. I don't want to turn the computer on in case there's any leaks. So what I have hooked up here is kind of a jerry-rigged sit-up um, with a power supply not connected to the computer uh, which is basically plugged solely into the pump and what I'm gonna do here is cross a green wire and a black wire the jumper cable and this is kind of how you short out the power supply so what I want to do is kind of run it until I run out of water here in the reservoir and then once I run out of water there I gotta fill up. See, all that water now is in my PC. Now we got my funnel, my distilled water, and we gotta refill. So now I need an Allen wrench to open up the reservoir, and I have no idea where it is. I've been able only to find this one, and it is the wrong size. Oh, no. Still not big enough. Here we go. All right. That'll work. So let me remind you that this is a video that you shouldn't follow when you're water cooling your computer because I think about everything I'm doing here is not good. <laughs> Filled it up. Hopefully water doesn't spill into the hard drives because that would be a problem. Let the pump go. Okay. I gotta get all this air bubbles out of the system right now. 
So what I'm gonna do is let the system run for probably three, four hours. I'm gonna tilt the PC back and forth a little bit, uh, making sure we get all the air bubbles out. Cause again, I have um, this reservoir up here that can trap a lot of air in it. A lot of them, the blocks and everything, I can get some air in there too. Uh, so I gotta make sure I get all the air bubbles out. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do now, but so far, the cable were no longer kinked, which is the main goal of this video. And I don't see any leaks. Fingers crossed. <laughs> 